I quit Mutt on October 20th, and now I'm playing catch up without spending money. Here's how I made 3.5 million coins to rebuild my Mutt team. We have to get our squad from an 86 overall to rebuild our full Bears theme team, a 93 overall team. Thankfully, I had already gotten a million coins. If you missed my last video, I made a million coins in under 24 hours. Make sure you go check that out. I started grinding away at the playoff solos, bought a couple cards, rerolled some training, and luckily on my second reroll, I pulled a limited. I was able to sell this card for over 400,000 coins. Once you have a good stack of coins built up, a great way to get more coins is to snipe cards for low and sell them for high. So since a lot of playoff cards are being pulled, that's what I went to snipe. We were sniping these Travis Kelsey's for pretty cheap and selling them for a decent profit. And while waiting for those cards to sell, I went back and I continued to grind out the playoff solos, get these free cards that we get from it, coins from leveling up, which of course helps us. But there's a lot more to how I got a ton of coins other than solos and sniping. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Next up, while we're still sniping in the background here and there, I start ripping get a play packs this is not a way to make a ton of coins but it's consistent and it can help me in the background while i'm sniping cards maybe if i'm not getting that lucky with some snipes so essentially we're pulling all these cards from get a players and we're posting them right to the auction block it's almost break even on the silvers and then any of the golds or elites are straight profit so it's not a ton but we are starting to accumulate a nice bankroll getting ourselves closer to that 2 million mark i know my target here is 3.5 million for the bears theme team so that's the number i'm trying to hit we've made great progress from our limited pulls, from the solos that we've done, from leveling up, from the get a player method, but there's a lot more work to do. So I use the gap pack method to start building some team builder players, selling those for a great profit of around 10,000 coins. Once you have the golds, you can buy these elite cards for about 2,000 coins, make your team builders for 6,000, sell them for 16,000, and bam, you got a 10,000 coin profit. That's a great way that I was continuously making coins in the background here. It's a combination of all these methods that I I was doing not just one at any given time. I also knew I'm going to end up having to buy Walter Payton, so I wanted to get his power-up card. I went into my Legend solos and realized I haven't played any of these. Not only can you sell the power-ups, but you also get those nat 87, 88, 89 overalls. We can put those into exchange sets and sell them. So I went through the Legend solos. I grinded through a ton until I had enough to finish my Legend token set, which grants you a free boss Legend. So I worked my way through a bunch of them, and we're going to open this up somewhat live. We're almost at 2 million coins and we get one of three boss legends so my hope is that it's a current day legend not one of the legends from when most people redeemed this which was like way long ago let's go ahead and open up our legends token exchange we're just going to be selling this card of course and we should be getting 96 javon curse okay it's current. Let's go. They are nat cards, so I can't sell it, but still a W. Our second one, this is a full legend. Come on. 93 Jim Kelly. And our third one, Walter Payton. Walter Payton. Walter nope. Payton. Leonard Davis. Okay, so we're obviously going to go with Javon Curse. We do have all these other cards that we're going to put into exchange sets because they're all Nat cards from playing the weekly fantasy challenges. The best way to get rid of Nat cards and make them sellable cards is to complete these exchange sets. There's really no other use. You don't get much training for them. So in the long run, this is definitely worth it. We'll start off with the 89 to 90 exchange. I know I have a couple from the legends that I did. So we got Walter Jones, Doc, and Seau. And we'll also have enough for one more here. For now, we're going to open these 89 to 90 packs, these exchange sets. Hopefully, we can get 90s, and then we can sell them on the block. We'll take a 90 Nick Bolton. Let's open the next one. Team of the week card. It's going to be 90 Zach Ertz. After checking the block here, the price of 90 is about 34,000 coins, so we know at minimum we can get 34K. And we did all our predictor sets from this weekend. I picked Chiefs for most of them. I picked the Buccaneers, and that's about it. So for quick selling these, we will get 90,000 coins. Just like that, starting off the day with another 160k cracking a rhyme i'm a poet and i didn't know it this is so much cancer that i can feel the tumors growing on my back now after that was done i still had more solos to grind i went back and i started grinding the gridiron forge i worked through all of those and these are the packs that i pulled so we'll start with this get an 81 plus elite player there are two limited times in packs from team of the week right now so that would be the ideal pull <laughs> 
but we do still have a lot left here, starting with the first pro fantasy pack. First card, Legereus Sneed, don't care. Power up, Devon Kennard, worth nothing, nothing, nothing in the first round. Starting with a 78, a legend player, 87, Jim Kelly, not terrible, not terrible. Campus Heroes, give me a full 180. Not the worst thing in the world, definitely not the best though. We got an elite card, 83 Pierce. Do, 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 I guess we'll just go with the 83. Onto the gridiron pack. These have never been good for me, but you never know when your luck is going to turn around. Wow, that, that, that did stink. The day after I just finished opening those Gridiron Forge packs, we got the next Gridiron Forge for DJ Reader. I just completed all these. We got the same packs. We're going to go ahead and open them up. And the good news is today, Team Diamonds are in the game. So these cards are worth a lot more. I also have some Twitch drops and even an MCS Playoffs pack. Let's open them up. Starting with our get an 81 plus overall elite player. I mean like an 89, a 90, something good. Come on, 85 Rex Burkhead. Unfortunately, I'll save you the embarrassment. We didn't pull anything good, just a lot of mediocrity. 84s, 87s. So we'll skip through this. I need some luck on my side. Team of the week. Come on, baby. What do we got? 87 Kendrick Bourne, a non full legend player, 83 Strahan, and then to top it off, an 85 Sam Darnold. I sold all of these cards, which we're well into the two millions now, but we still need to make a massive leap from 2.2 .2 to 3.5, and we need to do it quickly. I don't have a ton of time to make all these coins. I keep doing the gap pack method in the background. I opened up a get a gold bundle. We actually lost coins on this, so I realized that that wasn't very profitable even though I pulled an 88 overall, we still lost coins. At this point, I'm starting to feel a little low. I've got a lot of coins left. I've done a lot of solos. I've emptied out my binder. I kind of feel stuck a little bit. Thankfully, we hit an absolutely massive snipe. 180,000 coins made. We saw Travis Kelsey pop up for 20,000. We were able to sell him for over 200,000. This was huge. This was me just chilling, watching a stream. Got lucky, saw him pop up, was able to snag it. And we flipped that card for a massive profit. This put us at almost 2.6 million coins home stretch under a milli to go and this is where my sniping really took over once you have a big bankroll you can make so many coins i don't want to say super quickly but pretty quickly compared to doing the gap pack method or sniping small cards i raise up my filter i start looking at things like limited 96 overall cards what can we get for cheap a travis kelsey snipe really inspired me at this point we find a christian mccaffrey for 350,000 coins we quickly scoop him up and we're able to sell him for over 500k that's that's another 100,000 coins made easily. And it's little things like this that just keep me going. We also get our Mutt rewards for the month of January. Two all pro packs. We don't pull anything crazy, but some decent cards from it. Enough to continue to get our coins up as we post those to the auction house, as we sell them over the weekend. And at this point, logging on after these cards is sold, we're at about the 3 million coin mark, about 2.9. It's not a good time to snipe. People aren't pulling a ton of packs. So I hop into some more solo challenges. We have all of the hard to play. You do get 80 plus packs. You can pull decent cards. So I grind through all of the Harvest solo challenges, get 300 stars out of it. Along the way, the important thing here is we're leveling up, getting a lot of coins for leveling up, as well as getting some gridiron packs for leveling up. All these cards add up. It doesn't seem like a ton of coins when you look at it one by one. But over time, all these 80 pluses, even though the highest we pulled was an 84, which is very disappointing. We did pull a lot of cards that we posted directly to the auction house. We also pulled some more gap packs, and then we also built some more team builders. So by the time time we back out from our harvest solos to the main menu we're at about 3.15 million super close down to the home stretch now it's time to grind just a little bit more to secure that last 350,000 coins and at this point i just go back to the tried and true sniping this is the best way to make coins especially with such a large bankroll and it certainly paid off because we were able to achieve our goal in just over a week and obtain over three and a half million coins i'm gonna be rebuilding this bears team team live on stream this Saturday. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it. And it's technically a combination of no money spent and a Bears team team. Follow me on Twitter for updates when I go live. Thank you boys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh my god, my pack luck is so bad.